This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits, and tonight I'm going to show off the Cater King Plus, the Ranch King Edition, with the 5x12 tandem axle trailer. It's got the Bulldog hitch, we got the propane burners, it's got brakes on the trailer. Propane burners here. We'll take some more pictures of the griddle after we assemble it tomorrow. We got a nice little cover over it to protect it from the rain. Got the toolbox mat in here so you can put your utensils, oven mitts, stuff like that in there to store it out of the rain. It's a nice little toolbox. It's uh, three foot long, two feet tall. Look, we can put our little Matt's BBQ Pits logo on it. Maybe on the next one we'll make it an inch taller to show that a little bit better. Comes with a spare tire. We've got a wood bin. Grilling pit in the back. Now, down here we've got a fold down tailgate on this pit trailer pit it serves as a lockable storage space so we got the little tabs of the hole so you can put a lock through it that way you can put something in there ice chest store it away and lock it up we got the grilling pit we got a slide out cold tray for it That's pretty cool. Of course, we got the springs on the air intake. That way they won't seize up on you. Got the handle on the air intake over here. It does come with a half inch coal grate. We're going to slide that in in the morning. And this is the insulated firebox, two inch thick. The insulated firebox is a big deal on these trailer pits. These large pits, if you want to save a lot of money in wood and a lot of hassle on, or chopping wood, do the insulated firebox. Oh, we can put your logo up on the counterweight. That looks good. Again, this one's got the single lid main chamber. We can make it dual or single lid, doesn't matter to me. Got tuning plates. Plenty of room on the top rack. It does have the gate between the cabinet and the main cooker. You can run this unit as reverse flow or traditional flow. We do need to mount the winch on it in the morning. If you're not familiar with the winch, it's so you can open and close that gate between the cabinet and the main cooking chamber. That way, if you if you don't want to cook in your cabinet, you can close it off if you want. And then either run your pit as reverse flow or traditional flow. That's a pretty neat feature. Or if you want to cook in your cabinet, you can open up the gate. You got the ball valve wash, and the grease wash. And there's where the winch goes. You'll see it on the other videos. Yeah, and this one, I, I really wanted to show off that new toolbox because we do have a video of this trailer pit, but without the toolbox on it. And there's the propane tank sitting there.
Again, this is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. Call us for pricing.